Former President Donald Trump campaigning in Iowa overnight, making no mention of a bombshell decision by the Colorado Supreme Court, ruling that he engaged in insurrection when he tried to overturn the 2020 presidential election. The decision also making him ineligible to hold office under the 14th Amendment and disqualifying him from Colorado's March 5th primary ballot. The court repeatedly citing Mr. Trump's own words on January 6th as evidence of insurrection when he urged supporters to march on the Capitol and fight certification of the 2020 election for Joe Biden. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Mr. Trump's campaign calling the court's decision, quote, completely flawed and vowing to appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The political backlash to the ruling, instant, with the former president's allies rushing to his defense. House Speaker Mike Johnson calling it, quote, nothing but a thinly veiled partisan attack. Mr. Trump already fundraising off the decision is still the Republican frontrunner and still defending his most controversial rhetoric on the campaign trail after his comments that immigrants are, quote, poisoning the blood of America, critics pointing out Adolf Hitler used similar wording in his writings. Trump doubling down last night. And it's true. They're destroying the blood of our country. They don't like it when I said that. And I never read Mein Kampf. They said, oh, Hitler said that in a much different way. His main rivals have mostly steered clear of responding to those comments. The Colorado ruling also putting Mr. Trump's Republican rivals in a difficult position. Ron DeSantis posting that the decision is an abuse of judicial power. We don't need to have judges making these decisions. We need voters to have to make these decisions.